Welcome back, all you OGs out there. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangsta, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli 1961, and I am in New World, in my house. And I want to dedicate some time today in setting up your character as a brand new player to be able to start making money right away. There's a lot of videos out there to talk about making lots of money really, really fast in New World. And that's cool and all, but what I've found is, is that if you are a low level character, it's tough. I mean, you know, it does, it, <laughs> you don't have the best equipment. You don't have the, the skill sets that give you boost and things like that. So what I thought I'd do is I'd look at the four starter areas and I'm gonna do a video on each one. We're gonna start with Monarch Bluff and we're gonna show you what I do, but every time I get on, it takes me about 15 minutes to run the circuit to make money right from the start. And it doesn't matter whether you're level one or level 60, you can make money this way. And just to prove the point, what I've done is I have created the brand new character on a different server, nothing on that person at all. We'll go through just the startup. We're not gonna do any of the missions. It's not the way I would tell you to play the game, but I wanna show you just to prove the point that you don't have to be a high level character to make money in this way that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you just how this works. But before I do that, I want to show you the mission board and just show you the kind of money that you're going to make doing missions on the game. And, you know, this is not a, hey, I'm going to make a lot of money really fast type of situation. But if you go to the board and you look at the missions that you have up there, I'm level 42 character. These are the things that I get at the town missions. You're probably going to get something similar to this. But the money that you're going to make, four gold coins, a dollar of uh, 1.35 gold coins. These missions are not going to make you rich. They're going to help you with your standing. They're going to help you progress in the game, but they're not going to make you a lot of money. So that's why it's important to have kind of side gig and make sure that you're able to do the things that I'm going to show you in this video right from the start to start building your bankroll because you're going to want to buy a house. You're going to want to buy stuff. It's important to upgrade your tools and your equipment as you go so that you can get more benefits out of it. So what I want to do is we're going to start with the brand new character that I've created and we're going to go from the landing zone to the town and then I'm going to go back through and show you the route that I take to make money every single time I get on here. I Again, it's not a big investment of time, but if you know where to look, you can go really quick. It's not very far from the starting towns. This one will be for Monarch's Bluff. I'll do one for each one of the starting areas. Make sure you stay to the end of the video so that you can see the route that I take and how it works out for it. All right, let's go to the brand new person. And just for the sake of clarity, I called him Yuli Zanu. Okay, here we are with my brand new character on a server that's medium population. I wanted to make sure that, you know, everybody can see no tricks to this. There's really just going through and picking up stuff. You can do this at any level and make money. And this is a way to get it done early in the game. And actually you can keep doing this all the way through and uh, make yourself a little bit of money. Now, what you're gonna wanna do when you first get on, if this is brand new to you, and, and I wanna make sure this is something that the first time player can do, check and see where you are. All right, so we are in Monarch's Bluff. That is the section we're in. You're gonna spawn in four different places when you log in. And each one has a little bit different resources. So we're gonna go through Monarch's Bluff with this playthrough and we'll see how this works. All right, so we're down here on the beach and we've got the starting quest stuff to do. And we're level one, right? Yep, level one over here in the corner and basically i have a sword a shield and just the stuff you land with i don't have anything else and my weight i can carry 200 pounds all right so i'm gonna go over here try to go straight up to the town all right so we're gonna this is the starting area we're gonna go there's flint and flint is a resource that everybody needs in new world so we're going to pick up some flint. We're going to run right past this person. Because I already know what they're going to tell me. And I'm going to see if I can't get up to town. And if I get there without doing all this other stuff, what's it going to do for me? So I'm picking up flint. See, nothing special to it. And then there's this purple herbs. Okay. I can't pick this up because I need a sickle. 
To make a sickle, probably gonna have to do this stuff. Rats. Another survivor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me? Well, I know this isn't the best way to make an acquaintance, but you've washed ashore on the Isle of Eternum. On the good side, we generally, well, see, we came back to life, but without their souls. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I have gotten some bugs. I've gotten some plant. I've got some wood. And she gave me some boots. I'm going to put these boots on. And I'm going to go to this campfire. And in this campfire, I'm going to craft. Yes, I can. I'm going to craft a sickle. And I am going to craft. Uh, I need a knife. Let's get some more wood. To get wood, all you gotta do is pick some berry, uh, some leaves. So push. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're we're cooking the gas now. Okay, so we get we got that. We're gonna make a, a skinning knife. All right, we're in business. Okay, so now we're going to go to inventory, drop these into the slots that they go in. I think you double click them. Yep, double click them. All right, now we can harvest not just the rocks, but we can harvest this stuff. Herbs. In herbs, we're getting peppercorn, we're getting in hyssop. We're gonna get different kinds of herbs for different areas, but I'm getting paprika. This is, like I said, just brand new, not doing anything. Don't have any special armor on. I can't grab that one because he's grabbing it, but. Sometimes you get something and sometimes you don't. Okay. Now we're gonna go up here and get these berries. And this is the thing, I find playing that people just go past this stuff. And okay, it doesn't really cost you anything but time to pick them, but every bit of this is gonna be money. Um, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna kill this boy. Why not? Well, maybe we're not. We're not used to using a sword. Okay, we killed the boar. Now we're gonna skin the boar. Because hide is money too. Alright, so on our way to town, which is where we're going, we're just going to pick up berries, we're going to pick up herbs, and we're going to kill some boars. That's all we're going to do. And you can see there's a lot of this around here, so the route that I'm going to show you is going to show you a path to take where you can just go ham on this stuff. You can grab as much as you want, fill up. That's the way we need to go, up this road. So we're gonna grab us another four. Scan him. And this is what we're gonna do all the way up to town until we don't we can't carry anything else. And this is a lesson that if you don't learn anything else in this video, if you're going out and you're gonna go harvest or you're gonna go on a quest or you're gonna do anything like that, don't go home until you are full. I mean, to the max. Because if you go home early and you don't fill up, then you're just wasting a trip. Now, I don't know when we get up to the trading post, I don't know this server how much things are going for because it's brand new to server to me. I've never played on it, but I am willing to bet that when we get up here, we can sell all this stuff without too much of a problem. Flint, grab flint. See, it's all over the place. And when you're grabbing flint at night, you're gonna potentially grab if you haven't played the game before. You'll you, you, just for those noobs out there. So you're grabbing stuff flint at night. You have the chance to pick up glowworms under the flint, and that's used for fishing bait. During the daytime, you pick up night crawlers under there. Oh, so there's some more berries over here and some more herbs. So grab these. All right, and I'm not even close to being full. I got a long way to go for me. I'm gonna work my way up to town. I'm gonna kill me pigs as I go, and I'm gonna skin them. And this is building my skinning and my harvesting skills. And all I'm gonna do is go straight up the road. 
herbs over here. That guy's a little bit big for me, so I'm gonna just go ahead. Oh no. Ah, I'm hoping this wouldn't happen. I really didn't want to wake that guy up, but all it's going to do is maybe respawn back at the beach. The good thing about getting killed in this game is you, you still have all your stuff. You don't lose anything. That's good. Respawn. Look at that. <laughs> Off we go again. So anyway, you get the gist here. All I'm doing is harvesting. I'm ranking up my guys. I go up the hill. There's a level 50 down here. See, I mean, it's not just new characters down here. This is a place you can go no matter what level you are and get some cheap resources that can sell for a lot of money. I'm not going back up there waking that guy up again. I learned my lesson. There's cheaper, easier ways to do this. All right, let's see. There's some purple up there. And as you play, you'll get used to the colors and what stands out to you. But you know, if you've been, if you're not new to the game and you've been playing for a while, you'll you'll see that this is really is a quick way to make some money. Okay, so now we're gonna fight some stuff because the pigs are starting to attack us. As we get close to town, they're gonna get a little bit hungry. That's all right. The other thing that we're gonna start seeing is other animals. There's a wolf up there and there's a turkey. Turkeys are a one hit kill. It's free meat and feathers. So don't pass up your turkeys because feathers sell too. Not for a lot, but everything you get. And you might get lucky like I just did and got an egg. Okay, now I have made it to town. I have picked up some food, some spices some hide and some bait and some feathers and some hyssop okay let's go see how much that's worth just go into town and find the trading post for the town if you've never been on and we walk right over here boom okay now i can sell my stuff so how much is hide worth Raw hide is what we get off the animals. Raw hide selling for 26 cents. So I can place a sell order for my hide for 20 cents. We're gonna sell 50 of them. Uh, I screwed up there. <laughs> what I'd usually put do is put them for one day. So let's do it right this time. So we're gonna do berries. And there they go. We just sold them all, 14 of them. That's how fast this can work, berries. They're going for 30 cents. So I'm going to place a sell order for that. And we're going to sell them for, let's sell them for 20 cents. We've got 52 of those. We're only going to do it for one day this time. Let's be smart. So it's only going to cost us 73 cents. We're going to sell them for tonight for 20 cents. Everybody else is selling for 30. We'll sell them fast. So that's there. What else did we got? We got hyssop. And that's selling for 10 cents a piece. So we have some hyssop, we have 95 hyssop, and we're gonna sell that for, let's make it move. We're gonna sell for five cents. And I think everything is dollars and cents, it's in gold and point one and point, but, but you know, it works this way, in my head at least. <laughs> so this is just for demonstration. I'm gonna undercut them by half. That'll make this stuff move fast, right? Whoever's looking for hyssop is gonna buy mine for five before they're gonna buy somebody else's for 10. It's not the way you want to make the money, but I just want to illustrate the purpose. I want to see how fast this stuff will go. All right, so we're going to put that in there. What else do we have? We can go to the sell tab and we can find out what else we have. So I have an egg. How much does eggs go for? Eggs are, this guy's buying them for $1.13. I'll sell in my egg and sell it now. Boom, egg's gone. Feathers, how much are feathers going for? A penny a piece, okay. 
Um, not worth selling those until I get a bunch of them. Flint. How much is Flint going for? This guy's pay, buying it for a penny a piece. It's selling for 39 So if we sell it for 35 61 we're going to sell it for one day. Uh, we'll put it for 30 Let's Again, let's make it move and place the order. All right, what else do we have? Okay, now here's where, this is why I was talking about getting the purple stuff. So oregano, how much is oregano selling for? Nobody's selling oregano here. So if I sell oregano for $10 and I sell four of them, I can make some money, right? Now I only have $3, so that might not be the right thing to do. So let's see what else we got. Paprika, anybody got any buy orders? All right, so this guy is willing to pay $2.40 for each paprika for nothing. And they're selling for three. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna take paprika. We're gonna go to this guy right here. We're gonna sell him all of our paprika. We'll sell him all of it. There we go. Thank you, dude. Sell now. That's gone. Peppercorn. Somebody probably wants peppercorn. How much is that going for? Nobody's buying it yet. Okay. Glowworm bait. Somebody buying that? Yeah, this guy's buying it for 10 cents a pop. Okay, so let's sell it. Nah, did that wrong. Sell it all, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> all right so he said for 10 cents a pop so we're going to sell it to him and we're going to sell him all of ours and we're going to make some money off of that so sell now thank you green woods anybody buying that this guy's buying it for five cents a piece we're going to sell him all of our green wood we're not going to make a heck of a lot of money off of it but again we didn't have any money pork by buying that this guy's buying pork for a penny a piece we'll sell him that Poultry. By buying that, this guy's buying poultry for a penny a piece. We'll sell him that. Do this right again. Sell orders, you actually do have to tell them how many you're going to sell them. If you're going to sell them all, you have to move the slider. All right, so I've got oregano. We're going to put a sell order in now that we got a little bit of money in the bank, and we're going to sell that for five bucks a pop. We'll see how long it takes for somebody to buy it. We're going to sell it for one day. Run it up to. Let's say we're going to sell for $2. I don't know what it's going for. Actually, here's what you can do. Okay, so now Monarch's Bluff is the only place I, I'm here. But if I want to find out how much this stuff is really worth, then I can go up here to all settlements. So I, once I have all settlements, I can go back to this buy screen right here. And I can type in oregano. And I can click on that and I can find out how much oregano is going for. $2.60 is the lowest price anybody's selling it on the map. So when I price this, I want to price it any lower than that. And then how much is, what else do we have? We have peppercorn. How much is peppercorn going for? $1.20. Okay, so if we take our oregano and our pepper and we sell them for, we're going to sell this for $2. And sell four of them and we're going to do it for one day. And then we're gonna sell our peppercorn for a dollar. And we're gonna sell five of those for one day. Place order. Now the people that are buying this stuff are like for the spices are gonna be people that are cooking stuff. So we've got our hyssop for sale. We've got our peppercorn, we've got our flint. And we've already sold some stuff because we had buyers that were just waiting to buy our stuff, all right? So I haven't done anything to level this character at all. I've got points I can put into it. The only thing I've done is the, the tutorial and spent the points for that. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a route in Monarch's Bluff that you can go and you can harvest stuff and sell it no matter what level you are, no matter what kind of tools you have, if you've invested and you've bought um, a pick or a sickle that's got special properties, which you can buy here in the store, then you can get even more stuff for it. The other thing you want to make sure you're doing is when I start off a run, I go, first thing I do, grab honey. Because honey's free. Okay? All right, so I have honey. I'm going to put it in here because I don't have but so much weight I can carry. So I'm going to put honey in here. And you can just hit this little arrow key and drop it right into your storage. Okay, so we've just sold all our rawhide. Just gotten here. We've sold all our rawhide. Let's go do the sprout. Okay, so I've gotten everything off of me that I don't need. I got a weapon that I can use. I've got some food, which I really don't need, but I'll have it. 
I've got the things that came with me and I got the little boots that she gave me when I first got here. Okay, so we're ready to go. And if I had a stopwatch, I would time this. But I'm gonna say this is gonna be less than 15 minutes. And all I need is a sickle and a skin and knife. If I had a pick, I could do some more, but we're just gonna do this. All right, so I'm gonna go, here's, here's the route. I am in Monarch's Bluff. I'm gonna go down through the west exit. I'm gonna go across the water here. I'm not gonna fight people unless I have to. And I'm gonna go on out to the, to the route I'm gonna show you. Ready? All right, here we go. And we'll see how many people on this server are uh, actually doing the same thing I'm doing. All right, so you're out, coming out of the exit. Entr yeah. Coming out. Did I go the right way? Yep. I'm gonna go down here. Down here, down the hill. Now, the cool thing about this game is you can't kill yourself by falling. So, take the shortcut anytime you need to. You won't heal unless you're eating. But uh, we've got one ration we can use when we really need it. All right, same thing here. There's plenty of flint. So if you don't want to do anything but pick up flint, you can do that. But we're going to go on up the hill. Again, I haven't done anything cool with anything. And you hit this spot right here, this is pretty much infinite flint. You can walk around here and by the time you get all the way around, picking it up, it will have respawned. So you can get as much flint as you can carry and never run out of flint. I usually like to pick up 100 flint as I'm going out here. I'm not going to do spend the time right now doing this. I'm just going to grab it as I go. There are no enemies on this bridge. Never again if for the people who've never played. I just want to make sure I'm pointing out these things. More plan here. See, I'm level four still. I haven't gone any past anything. I haven't invested any points in anything. You don't have to fight these guys. You just run between them. If they do trigger on you an aggro, like they just did, just keep running. You can outrun them. And they'll stop chasing you as you get up the hill here. So just don't stop. Don't pick up anything. Just keep running. And if you want to fight them, I mean, that's up to you. But all you're going to do is get some XP. You're not going to get any hide or anything out of those guys. And I'm passing up some things because they're chasing me but I'll get them on the way back. Don't you worry. We're gonna go right up this hill. And these guys should stop chasing. They stop? Yep. Okay. So now look at all this. Um, and here
here's some hemp, which is the fiber in this game. It's this stuff. If somebody picks it, it won't be here. It'll respawn after about 10 minutes or so. So if it's not here on the way down, it's liable to be here on the way back. All right, so we're gonna go right up here. We're gonna go to up this hill to the left. Now there's a corrupt thing going on up here. So I'm just gonna take you up here far enough because it's pretty squishy right now. And I don't think I'm gonna survive if I have to go in there. Yeah, they're right on the edge. Right over the top of this hill, there is another hemp spawn and an iron spawn. Right, there's two of them up there but I'm not in a place where I can get that. All right, so the wolves are after me. <laughs> so we're gonna kill us. Oh, moly, there's a lot of corrupted right here. guy so I'm gonna just keep running <laughs> every server is a little bit different so you just gotta kind of manage through if there's a lot of this corrupted stuff you just have to run around it at low levels if you're a higher level then by all means take them on take them out we'll get out of this stuff here in a second and here we go now we're I'm gonna eat this food so then I get my Tell us back up. All right, so here we are at the place that I was trying to get to. All right, look at this. I got him. So that's fiber. Got some hemp. I'm gonna catch this turkey. We'll have that turkey. I think I'm gonna catch him though. I see stops. There. Now we we'll have some more feathers. And there's more hemp there. That guy's probably gonna grab it. No, he's not. He's not even trying. So we got him. The other thing you can harvest is these bull rushes. Harvest bull rushes, you have a chance of getting lightning bugs for bait, and they can sell for a decent amount of money too. So just go around, grab the bull rushes, grab the hemp. Uh, grab the hemp. The other thing you can do is. Crazy as this sounds, water. And you gotta understand, the economy of New World is not like a real world economy. Sometimes water sells for more than gold. Go figure. But I'll show you a little trick. If 
you get the water, and you just gotta get a little bit. So I got fresh water. I've got my inventory. You don't get any credit for collecting water, I don't think. Um, but if you put it in the slot right here, so it's on your person, it doesn't weigh anything. Say 42.4. Forty-two point four. So you can sit in this little pond and get a thousand water, and it won't weigh you down. Grab this hemp. And as you get better equipment, it's going to go faster because the flint. Tools, they're not as durable and it takes a while to use them. But I've already got my harvesting up to level 30. And I've been playing for what, 20 minutes, 10 minutes? Or doing this run. Okay. Up along that ridge line, all the way around this those rocks up there, there's metal nodes for iron. I'm not gonna go up there because in this server there's a lot of corrupted up there and I'm not really at a level I could do it. If I had my main character, I'd go up there and clean that out too. But I usually go around that circle and then I come back down and go over here, which is another really good <laughs> herb farm. There you go, see? You get your herbs. And we're not even close to being full. There's herbs, there's turkeys, there's pigs in these in this grass. The pigs won't attack you unless you attack them. I think I don't know, I don't think there's any rabbits in here. But You can uh, take those out as you go. Oh, see, there's a turkey somewhere in here. There's Flint. through here you can see there's herbs and just take a trip through clean them all out and by the time you're done if you're using flint tools you can probably do it again Berries over here. I want to show you one more thing. So the other thing you can do while you're in the middle of doing all this stuff, like I said, oh, I can't camp yet, but drop a camp down and you can take that hyssop in the water and make weak health potions. So you build up your arcane 
proficiency as well. And you can sell the weak health potions back here. I mean, they go for like a penny a piece, but not costing anything. It's just like a byproduct of whatever else you're grabbing. The pig here, oh, he's level six. All right, so go all through here. There's there's herbs all over the place in here. Grab the herbs, kill all the turkeys, pigs, whatever you want to do to farm. Grab the berries, and then turn around and come back. And what we'll do on the way back is we'll go around the outside. Berries here. This turkey. Another turkey coming up. fighting anybody just cruising on through more flint down there if you want to grab flint Bonus here on Boar's Blood. All right, we'll do this circle around the outside of the camp here. And we can already see here's some hemp. And I'm going to speed up this process <laughs> so you're not having to stare at me hunched over a piece of hemp. Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit longer with flint tools than it does with, say, star metal tools. But I want to show that this is something you can do from the start. No special stop. Okay. All right, so we got a bunch of hemp. We got uh, some flint. We got some other stuff. We're about, we're not even half full. If I had gone up, if I had a pick and I didn't have all the corrupted up there, I could have gone up there and got that metal. I probably would be closer to being full. But if you come back out to the shoreline down here, There's nobody down here. You don't have to worry about fighting anybody. You might see a turkey. I don't even know if there's any pigs down here. But all the flints you want to grab. And all on this bank, you're going to find more herbs. And berries. Herbs. And 
even on a populated server, if somebody else is over here grabbing this stuff, there's some more here. Even on a populated server, if there's other people over here grabbing this stuff, it respawns really fast. So if somebody comes through and grabs it ahead of you, just go grab Flint instead of herbs and come back and the herbs will be here. That's kind of the cool part about this route. Unless you've got like 50 people over here farming at the same time, you can get whatever resources that are here. Just adapt what you're looking for to what's available. And you're still going to come out making money. And it's not a lot of cash, but when you look at the missions at the very beginning, the town missions, you're getting like six gold to go do a whole lot of stuff. Now you're gonna wanna do it. I'm not saying that this is a substitute for the story or for the side missions, because I think the story and the side missions really make the game. But in between all that, if you wanna buy a house early on, if you wanna buy better equipment, uh, better tools, and you know, this is, you're gonna need some money for that. And this is a quick way to earn it without having to go through you know, quest after quest after quest, lurking for, um, you know, things in boxes. And get yourself a head start. And if you take the money that you're making here, and you take it and invest it in better tools, so as soon as you can get iron tools, Trade in your flint tools for iron. Buy them. You don't have to make them. Buy them. And when you're looking for buying them, I'm going to show you when you get back to the marketplace. Buy them with some things on them that will help you. Maybe you buy a, a sickle that has better percentage of yield. Or the one that you really want is one that's going to give you Azoth. Because you need Azoth to travel and you're always gonna be using it up. So if you have some available to you, this guy's going around killing stuff. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Oh, there's some, there's some food. We just grab it as we come through. Is there anything in here? Nope. advantage of the help that's over here if you do run into somebody and you're low level and you want to just go in here and grab the goodies make sure you take advantage of it when somebody else is doing the work for you <laughs> help them out you know be nice this the dude out you know but you can get just a few things as you're going through here on your way back help you with some of your supplies you got shot me while I was on my back to him okay and then head back and I will Join you back when we get back to town and we'll see whatever we get. I'm gonna fill up on Flint. Right, get away from this guy. Ow. Dang it, he's still following me. Ow, he's gonna keep on, he's gonna kill me. I'm good now. Heal, can I get a heal? Can I get a heal? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm heading back up to the trading post. 
I'm gonna grab all my stuff out of here. Well, honestly, you can just dump everything in here because you sell straight out of here. Right, so dump everything so I'm not carrying it around. All right, so I have a total of 100, almost 150 flint. I've got some hyssop, I've got some bullish. I've got all these things. Now I'm gonna go in here and see what I can sell them for. One thing to be aware of is when you're selling stuff, what I've found is that the raw material is sometimes, in fact, a lot of times, worth more than the finished goods. So be careful in your zeal to create and craft stuff that you're not just putting yourself out of the market because if it costs 10 cent for a pound of ore and it costs one cent for a, an iron ingot, then there's no point in trying to sell iron ingots, right? Sell the ore. But in this situation, we are going to see what we have. Let's go to sell. And it's gonna list my items, what I have to sell. Berries, I've got 71. There's nobody out there who's trying to buy some. So I'm gonna place a sell order. I'm gonna sell all 71. I'm gonna put them up for one day at 10 cent. Boar's blood. Anybody selling boar's blood? Five bucks. So I'll sell it for 1.50. Again, just make it cheap. Do it for one day. See what happens. Bullrush cobs. Anybody selling these? This guy wants them. He's going to pay a penny. How much are they going for? 50 cent. We'll sell them for 10 cent. For one day. Dead dryad vines. This is uh, crafting material. That's going for 10 bucks. We'll sell it for five. Again, this is just it's just to illustrate that if you want to make money fast, it's a way to do it. I'm not recommending that you undercut the prices like this because, you know, you, you get it too far down, you're not really making any money. But I don't want to spend a lot of money trying to put it up there because it does take money to make money, <laughs> uh, as it were. Look at these eggs are going for 20 bucks. This guy's buying them for, for uh, his sell orders for a dollar. But, hey, more power to him if he can get them. Like me, I just want to get rid of them, so I'm going to sell them. Um, I thought I sold it. So. Okay, that's why I didn't take it off. Uh, feathers. Uh, they're a penny a, pan, a penny a piece. That's just what it is. So we'll just put it one day for a penny. See if anybody buys those. Nope. It warns you if you're going to lose money on a deal, and I just did because I wasn't paying attention. Fibers. This guy's paying seven cents. Fibers are going for 30. If we put them for 25, probably sell all these pretty quick. Make it for one day. Fire, fire, blade. Firefly bait. Say that six times fast. 75 cent. We put it in for 50. That's paying a penny. Selling for 30. For 20. Five. Green wood, sell it for five cents a piece. We'll sell it all, get rid of it. That's just stuff I accidentally picked up while I was picking up other things. Honey, anybody buying honey? It's a sell order, five cent. Make it a penny and see who buys it. 168. Uh, Nightcrawler bait. Anybody pay anything for that? A dollar. Point fifty. Sell fifty one of those for a day. Oregano. 
two dollars we're gonna sell it for that's ours so we'll put it in here for two dollars for one day Africa that's paying 248 each so we'll go ahead and take that and make us some money fast sell him all of it peppercorn we'll sell that for a dollar one day pork Penny a piece. We'll sell all those. Poultry. Penny a piece. We'll sell all those. And honestly, I am not trying to show you how to make a billion dollars, right? If you want to make money, place a price on here that you're going to make something off of. It's going to be work within the market. Like the market says this is worth 26 cents. This guy's willing to pay 10 cents for it. I'm trying to make fast money. So I'll take that 10 cents because that's $5 to me, right? Red meat, nobody's, I'll take that and get rid of it. Make those a penny, So all those. Sell my rice. Sell this yeast. Nine cent. How much is it going for? Dollar seventy. We'll sell it for a dollar. Wood louse bait. How much is that going for? Penny. He's going to pay for it. Six bucks. Uh, we'll do a dollar. For a day. Iron cartridges are probably a penny. Ooh, 15 cents. I'll sell them for five. Now, lose, see, this is what happens. If you put it too low, you're going to lose money. It's going to tell you you're going to lose money on that. With cartridges, things are going to sell for less than, you know, 10 cents. You want to have a bunch of them. So sell about 100 of them at a time and you can you can break even. You're not gonna make a lot of money off of it, but you can at least break even. How much honey is honey going for? 62 cents for something you can get for free. Amazing. All right, so we're gonna put that at 20 cents. Let's see who will take it. We got 19 of them that we can sell. Didn't cost us anything, but to go over there and hit the little button and make it show up. Let's see what arrow, iron arrows are selling for, two cents a piece. Yeah, see, it's not really gonna make any money even if I sell them for a day at two cent a piece, it's gonna cost me 53 cent to put them up and it's gonna make me 54 cent. So really not worth doing until I have, you know, a hundred of them or so, okay? So there's, there's that. Now, here we go. This is the orders that I've put in. I've got all these orders in. I've not done anything with my character. You saw, I got on, I, you know, I didn't include the tutorial, but as soon as you get to the beach, you can make money. And it's not gonna be a thousand dollars every 10 minutes. If you're watching those videos and you're going, well, yeah, they tell me that I can make it. Yeah, you can, if you have the levels and the tools and the armor, because there's tools that give you better yield and better luck. There's armor that gives you better luck. There's attributes as you level up that you can get better skill sets and, and harvesting on. So yeah, if you get to level 60, you can make easily a thousand dollars, you know, every hour or wherever way you want to farm it, there's ways to do that. So if you're just starting out and I'm saying level one through 20, level, really one through 60 this is a way to make money for just running a path and you saw the path i went through it takes about 15 minutes with my main character at level 42 to just do everything i clean out all the metal nodes i clean out all the harvesting thing and i kill everything i run into whether it's pigs or wolves or turkeys and i'm back in the base 
and I can sell the stuff off. When I price my things, I, I look at what I was showing you at the very beginning. I go in, the first thing I do is I look at the cities that I can go to. And I can't go, I don't have all of them open, but I look at the cities that I can go to and I just check the box. Right, so I, I can go to Weaver's Fen, I can go to Windsward, I can go to Cutlass Keys, I can go to Everfall and First Light. All right, so those places, when I do that and I'll go back up here and hit this arrow key, it's gonna show me the prices for all those places. And if I do the selection, low to high, you can do it high to low, whatever you wanna do, I know how much everything I'm getting ready to sell is actually selling for in the market in the world, including in my region. And regions can be vastly different. You can sell something in Everfall for two cent and it can go for a dollar in Monarch Bluff. And, or it can sell for $20 in Brightwood and sell for $500 in First Light. Be careful when you're looking at the areas you're selling in, because if you're selling in these starter areas, a lot of the people in them are gonna be just like you. They're not gonna have a heck of a lot of money to spend. So if you go in and you say, well, it, it took me a long time to get that animal eye and you put it in for 20 bucks, and they can get it somewhere else for a, a penny, they're going to get somewhere else for a penny and you're gonna waste your finder's fee or whatever it is that they call it when you buy, when you sell something, because every time you put something up for sale, it's gonna cost you something to sell it. And that's why I always put everything in for like a day or three days at the most, because it minimizes the amount of money that I'm having to spend to put it out there and it makes it turn the cash over fast. And then I know what I've got. If I'm putting in a really good price for something because I just want to get it out of my inventory, I don't want to spend extra money for it to sit out there for three, six or three, seven, 14 days. I want it selling right now. So one day sale costs you very little to put on the market compared to a 14 day sale. And when I first got on there, I didn't even look Look at that piece on there that said, this is what your sale price is, but you really need to pay attention to this screen because this is what you're, you're seeing that that's the selling price in your area. This is what it's gonna cost you to sell it. In here, two cent, it's not gonna cost me anything. It's two cent per unit. If I put it in for, that's the tax, transaction charge. So there's tax <laughs> that the faction that owns the territory charges you. And then there's the listing fee. Okay, so the tax can be very little and the listing fee is gonna be whatever it's gonna be. The tax can be very high, it depends on what they set it at when they take over that region. So you gotta be watching that and it'll tell you how much you're actually gonna earn per thing. And you gotta be watching this listing fee and be careful because it's gonna to default to 14 days. You don't wanna be selling something. Look, if I was gonna sell this for two cent, as an example, I put it up for one day, it's gonna cost me 52 cents to sell it, all right? If I put it in for, Sorry, if I put it in for 28 days, it cost me $8 to put that same stuff out there that I'm gonna make 50 cents off of for 28 days. So it makes, makes no sense to do that. If you've got some really specific long lead time, high dollar things, you might wanna do that. But when you're just trying to sell stuff and, and keep things moving and generate some cash, you don't wanna do that. And I'm no economics professor, believe me. I am not a guy that plays the stock market. I couldn't tell you if I'm doing the right thing or not, but I'm telling you this works to get you some money in your, in your pocket. And this is what I would suggest you do with that money as you make it right off the bat. And it, it may seem like it's counterintuitive, but what you're gonna wanna do is take that money and invest it in your ability to make more money. And that's gonna require you to take and look at some of the tools that are out there. If you can use the highest grade tool that you can get. Now, like I said, I'm still level seven, so I can't use, all this stuff is red for me. But if you're able to use a tier two item, let's see if there's any in here. Let's see, we'll go price low to high. That's probably not gonna be the best way to do it. But yeah, so here's a fishing rod. I can get this treated wood fishing rod for 10 bucks and I can use it today. It's not red out. If I wanted to, let's find a we'll get gathering tool. So I wanna look at a sickle that I can use right away and it's gonna get me more stuff. Here's a sickle that I can buy today. I've got enough money to buy it and it is gonna give provide 35% more durability. So it'll take longer to break and it actually gives 135% gathering speed. So 35% faster in gathering, cutting stuff down than the flint tool did. If I scroll down here and look in this perk column for something that has this symbol, 
That means every time I cut something down, I had the chance of getting Azoth. 35% chance when finished gathering a node to gain one Azoth. That's what I want to buy. I want to spend my money there. I want to get, get that sickle as fast as I can because when I go back out, I'm going to harvest faster. This was 152%, so almost half again or over half again how fast I can get it done. And I have a chance of gaining an Azoth. Now it's one every time I gather a node, which is, you know, could be a whole clump of berries or whatever else, but it's one that I didn't have. And it's a way to gather, get Azoth, even when you're not doing a quest. Maybe you've done all the town quests and you, you, you're, you're out of Azoth because you've been running all over everywhere and transporting everywhere. And now you, you're, you're stuck. Well, you can make it. Just go buy your thing and, and you're good. Now I'd have to go in this situation, I'd have to go to Cutlass Keys to get it. So what I need to do when I'm looking at this is I need to look at just my town, unless I'm traveling, you know, and I'm again, I'm trying to stock this as a, as a brand new player, not as somebody who's been around. Because if you've been around and you can get around, then go to the town that you can get it the cheapest at. But if I am in Monarch's Bluff, then this is what I've got to choose from. And uh, that one's not great. I don't see any, there's an Azoth one, $210, right? So it's gonna cost me a lot of money to buy one here. If I could travel to Cutlass Keys, I could get one a whole lot cheaper. Another thing to watch is as you level up, level up your tools. As soon as you can, you can use steel, go from iron to steel. As soon as you can use star metal, go from steel to star metal and on up. And each time you level up, watch those perks. Get as many perks as you can for the price that you wanna pay. That way, when you're out harvesting, it's gonna go faster and you're gonna get more resources. Maybe you get more luck at getting more rare stuff. Maybe you get Azoth or maybe you get a higher chance at Azoth. All those things are things you wanna look at and invest in yourself and the money will come. Get the right tools and as you're getting more resources, you sell those resources, you make money, you're, you're leveling up because you know this isn't a full-time I don't want to make it look like this is a full-time gig of just going out and harvesting. Hey, you can make it that way if that's what you want to do, but this is a way that you can get the money that you need to start your character off to start getting a stockpile of cash. And I mean, right now we have put stuff out there. We've currently got 42 bucks, 42.62 gold. We don't have any Azoth because we don't have anything to generate that. We haven't done any of the quest stuff. We don't have any repair parts because we haven't broken anything down. But I, I was just doing this to illustrate. You don't have to have special weapons. You don't have to have special tools. You don't have to have high levels. You don't have to, I mean, let's go back to, I haven't, I haven't put anything in here. So this is base character, base stats, nothing in here. Uh, the only weapon mastery I did was the one I did during the tutorial to get that up. But look at my trade skills. I'm already at level 42 on harvesting, level seven on skinning. And all I've been doing is collecting stuff. If you're doing the, the story and the side missions and, and the faction quests, all that too, you're gonna be leveling all this stuff. You can take that hyssop and water and make weak health potions which will start cranking up your arcana. You can take the meat from the pigs and start cooking and making the rations so that you can eat while you're out there and keep your health up. All those things are gonna happen as you're doing your, your missions. But I just wanted to make sure that people understood there was a way to start making money right from the first day that you start playing the game. It's not complicated, it's not dangerous. You're not gonna get killed every five seconds. I got killed once because I picked on a pig that's way too big for me at the time. But other than that, I didn't even get, I mean, yeah, I got wailed on on the way back a little bit, but uh, you know, and I had to skirt around some dangerous stuff. But if you're a higher level, I mean, like I said, I'm a level 42, I do this same route in, in Monarch's Bluff. This is where I have my house on my main character. I do the same route every day when I first get on. It takes me 15 minutes. I end up with a boatload of fiber, a boatload of hide, a bunch of flint, a bunch of hyssop, a bunch of herbs. I put it on the market and then I go do my quest. And by the time I get back, I've got money in my bank that I didn't have to do a whole lot to get to. All right, so that's the that's the route on Monarch. Again, I'm gonna throw the map up here. You are gonna look at it. This is the way to do it. You come out of Monarch's Bluff. You take the Western road. You go down the hill. You go across the water. This island right here is full of flint. Grab all the flint you wanna get. Go across to the fishery. You can dodge these guys or fight them, whatever you want to. If you fight them, go into the houses and get the resources that are in there and go up the road here. If you're not fighting them, and by the time you get up the road to about this point, they're gonna stop following you. Take a cut up here. If you don't have all this corrupted stuff going on, you can just take a cut right up here. You're gonna find some hemp. You're gonna find some berries. And by the time you get up to the top of the hill, there's a metal node there. There's another metal node here. There's another metal node here. 
and then then you go around the corner here if you go around this edge there's metal nodes all through there and then i drop down well actually i go all the way around i collect the metal nodes i come back down i go to this little pond i collect all the hemp around it i go around the corner here and collect all the spices over here I turn back around, I come back through, uh, the hemp is already back again, I grab that. I go down this beach and I grab all of the herbs again. I come back through here. If I haven't hit these areas, I'll stop by and grab a couple boxes as I'm coming through. If I'm not full, I'll grab every bit of flint I can get as I come back up the hill. There is some hemp and some berries right in this area right here. It depends on if some people have grabbed it or not. This wolf cave has silver in it if people haven't grabbed that. There's another wolf cave over here that's got silver in it. If people haven't grabbed that, you can really come out, hit that, hit this, and go down, which I, I do a lot of times just to grab silver. And you're done. 50 15 minutes is all it takes and you're going to come back depending on what kind of tools you have with a full load of the base sources that everybody's buying put it on the market and then go do your question and you will have money waiting for you when you get home all right thank you very much for watching i hope this was helpful for people i'm going to do a breakdown on all four of the starter areas so that the people wherever they start will have the idea of what happens there and i'm going to do the same thing we'll start with a brand new character and we'll just go to run the path so people can see it doesn't take any extra stuff and if you've already been on the game you've already progressed and you're just looking for a way to make some cash small investment of time and it works in each one of the areas there's a similar path to take you can get all those things and then drop them off and then go do your stuff thank you very much for coming if you like this video if this video was helpful for you in any way please consider giving it a like it really helps me out with the algorithm it keeps people coming back to the channel and you know leave a comment if you've got a different path to take if you've got something else that gets you more let's share that information with each other and hey if you really enjoy the channel and you want to help me out and support us then please make sure you hit that big red rectangle sign up for old gamers never die and become a subscriber and you know come watch some of the other videos i do live videos on friday night i do a friday night frights which is uh, usually a horror game i've got some collab friends that i get together with usually once a week and we do a midnight madness crazy game thing which could be just about anything but it's four of us or five of us getting together and playing games and it's a lot of fun to watch and a lot of fun to play i've got a discord channel the link is below i've got twitter hit me up on twitter i uh, love to hear if people um, comment there so thanks a lot for coming i appreciate it Y'all take care. This is Julie signing out.